Hi everyone, it's Tonia from Clinic Surf Dirty um, coming to you with my second vlog regarding my nutrition plan from Gore Bioscience um, based on my results from the MRT mediator release test I had done which was, if you haven't seen my first vlog my blood being tested against 150 foods um, the results were really surprising to me um, and yeah, I started, I have, well, start at the start. My, I had my consult with Henry, my health um, consultant um, at Gore, and went through the test results and the um, plan, first five weeks with the plan, uh, which was really, well, the results were really, really interesting to me, really surprising. Um, mainly because caffeine was the thing I was most sensitive to. Caffeine, beef, fructose, so no fruit, um, olives, coconut, so no olive oil, um, no coconut oil, things that I was eating really really regularly and black pepper, black pepper was huge. I was nearly sensitive um, to black pepper as I was to caffeine. So I had to say bye bye to those things and start on um, the Immunocalm program uh, in order to help my gut heal and um, address the food sensitivities. Um, so yeah, the first week was tough. I did a vlog from the first week and you'd be able to see me going through coffee withdrawal. Problem was, it was very long, very, very long. I think, <laughs> I think I probably didn't realise because I was going through coffee withdrawal. It took me quite a while to get through it. Um, yeah, so first four or five days, just a banging headache going through coffee withdrawal. Um, but nutritionally, it was very simple. So simplified foods, but also very um, filling because of the change in my macros, which I'll get to in a sec. Yeah, I found myself feeling really full, actually funny, quite difficult to eat some of the food because it was such a change and such an increase. In fact, in that week, I got through nine avocados, 21 eggs, and a couple of packs of bacon. So yeah, it was a pretty awesome week <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, very enjoyable food-wise. Um, obviously, eating like that for a long time would become boring because of the um, lack of variety in the foods. But it was, you know, a, a good start and a good introduction. Um, to that entire process. So yeah, my macros are 130 grams of fat, 105 grams of protein, and 50 grams of carbs. So very ke well ketogenic at the moment, essentially to get me fat adapted. So I get my body burning fat um, instead of carbs as its fuel source, which would be very very good. Um, especially for body composition, from a body composition point of view, because I am also looking to lean out, uh, as well as address my sleep issues and uh, my energy issues. So yeah, I'm in nearly in week three, at the end of week two, and I've only not slept once this past uh, fortnight, which is fantastic. And someone said to me, you know, oh, you saw me eating at work, obviously, saying. Um, you know, it looks really, it's hard how you're sticking to it, you know, it's just, ugh, how do you eat, how do you do it, basically. And, you know, that night of not sleeping really brought it back to me that this isn't, you know, a quick fix. I want to look hot for a weekend or a holiday or a summer. It's very much um, a long-term uh, process for me and something that I would like to uh, make long-term changes with. I, w I want to be able to sleep, have really good sleep uh, ongoing. You know, I, I don't want it just for a small amount of time and then back to the way things were. You know, being a really cranky zombie is not much fun for me or anyone else. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's not what I want to go back to. So that is helping me to stay completely focused on um, sticking to it. Do I want to eat other things? You know what? Not so much. 
not so much. Maybe when I'm getting to the point where it's my meal and I'm a bit hungry. Um, if you stuck something on my, under my nose, I might be like, mmm, that would be yummy. But, um, yeah, no, it's not worth it um, if it disrupts the process and I go back to not sleeping. So, yeah, easy so far. Um, having to be creative is one thing, which is becoming easier as more foods are introduced um, each week. So, take it easy on my gut to start with uh, in the first week and then gradually introducing more foods and I'll get more creative with what I'm cooking, which would be great. But, um, yeah, one of the things with my sensitivities, uh, uh, well, a point that kind of was quite interesting to me was, you know, coconut oil? No, can't have that. And olive oil, two fantastic fats that, you know, we're told en masse, you know, to, like, everyone we have, that have fantastic health benefits, and we should all include them in our diet. Well, you know, that's the thing about getting a very individualised account of what's good for you in regard, in, like I have with this MRT, it's uh, it's not great for me. And things, even though, you know, there's superfoods out there and there are, you know, foods that have amazing health properties, well, if they don't work with you uh, on an individual biochemical level, then you probably shouldn't be eating them, but how do you find that out? I mean, you follow basic food guidelines and, you know, I, I was... In my case, I was completely in the dark about this. I didn't know um, one of my foods that I'm super sensitive to is, you know, fructose. Huge part of my diet. Massive part of my diet. If you've ever seen any of my foods, especially breakfast, there's always a fruit compote or fruit in pancakes. You know, it's, it's a massive part. So, yeah, super sensitive to that. I have to cut it out. Also, another food that I was eating loads of was beef. I love steak. Ribeye with a gorgeous melted uh, Dijon and shallot and herby butter. Amazing. Not for the moment though. So, you know, it's it's what's going to, for me, I'm thinking what's going to get me where I want to go. Well, if I want to sleep and these foods disrupt that, no, none of that for me. Not for the moment, that's fine. Um, yeah, so my macros, I've been tracking them by using my fitness pal. Uh, I've used my fitness pal for ages, I find it really, really effective for tracking macros. Um, and I have used the, the breakdown of uh, macros from my, from my plan um, to maintain my blood sugar, which has been really helpful. But last week it was easy, this week I found I'm more hungry. So I had a word to um, Henry, my health consultant, and I'm not including um, veggies in my counting this week because, you know, it, it, I would normally do that and I've always done that. I've always tracked everything, but in order to help me feel full, I'm hitting my macros um, without my veggies and that's helping so far. And not to any detriment, I'm, I'm still leaning out, which is great. I'm also taking photos. I'll take a photo today. I took a photo last week um, and took my weight. Because I want to see, uh, I want to visually see the progress uh, through the process. But I know that you, you know, you see on Instagram and websites, you see this before photo and then this after photo. And it looks like a miraculous change. Um, over you know a period this is a 12 week period for me um, but I would like to see well I find it so much more effective to see um, the change throughout the process um, to see everything so you can see it didn't just like happen overnight um, yeah and vlog keep you up to date with vlogs in um, a couple of weeks time I'm going on a rotational diet in order to make sure I don't get uh, any food sensitivities or any further food sensitivities or food sensitivities back and in uh, three weeks time I'll be reintroducing some carbs yay so that's something to look forward to but another thing I noticed was with my training I um, have found it quite hard to um, recover uh, last Sunday I did some just under body weight squats and it took me a week. 
a week to get over it. It normally takes sort of three, four days to kind of get back to being able to do that again. It took like, yeah, it took a good week. Um, and that's because of the lack of carbs in my diet at the moment, which isn't forever. You know, I'm not going to be ketogenic forever. And I'm looking forward to seeing what my tolerance is. Um, seeing how, you know, how many carbs I can eat or get away with, really. <laughs> Um, and how that impacts on my strength and my training and my energy would be really interesting to see. So yeah, that's the process um, thus far. Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, it's going well. I'm feeling more energetic. I feel like I'm definitely feeling more awake. Uh, very much less cranky zombie. And not really very hungry. Um, yeah, so you're all up to date. And I shall vlog again shortly and let you know how the rest of the process is going. Until then, I'm going to go and eat some fat. I'm going to eat quite a lot of fat actually. Um, and I will keep you posted. Alright then, bye!